What is up, Humanoid Nation? Power Rangers fans of old and new, guess what's happening? There is a Power Ranger reboot movie in the works. Yes, a Power Rangers reboot movie. It's gonna be all Hollywoodized and style and shit. Did I just say Hollywoodized style? I'm making that up as a new word. Yes, Hollywood is getting into this to make a new Power Rangers movie. So, if the rumors are true, this is gonna be the fourth movie that they're gonna make. Yes, I said fourth. The first one was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie about the Ninjetti, then the Turbo Power Rangers movie. And I'm counting Clap, and I'm, Yes, and I'm counting Clash of the Red Rangers, the movie, as a movie. It went straight to TV, but it was a movie regardless. It was said the movie in it. So yeah, whatever. So that's a good thing. There's a new reboot. Hopefully it coincides with the new season after Super Mega Force is done, which is Dino Charge. Which they're going to get the actors to be in this thing. Hopefully... I hope to God it's not Hollywood putting in Hollywood actors in this because like Jason David Frank did say in the first movie that Hollywood wanted Hollywood actors to play the Power Rangers. Yes, instead of having the teenagers from the original show be Rangers, we were going to have high profile actors. Can you imagine Johnny Depp as a Power Ranger? Or like Kurt Russell? Oh no. Wait, who was a young cat back in the 90s? Dustin Diamond to play the nerd, the Blue Ranger. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, he could have played the Red Ranger. Who knows? But yeah, that will suck if now they would put Hollywood actors. Because then today you'll have fucking Zac Efron, Selena Gomez. Miley Cyrus. Who else? Considering that Dino Charges was like 10 fucking Rangers, they're gonna have a lot of people. But yeah, hopefully they'll just get normal, unknown actors to play these Ranger roles, because that's what all of us are. That's the whole point of Power Rangers, like having unknown actors. Hopefully we can have cameos in this from the original Rangers too to pass on the torch. Of course, I would like to see Jason David Frank be in there, but like, for once, I wanna see Austin fucking St. John in this. People say their best Power Ranger ever is Jason David Frank, Forever Green. No, he wasn't the best Power Ranger ever. He was the second best. I know I'm gonna let a, get a lot of hate comments on this, but come on guys, Austin St. John, the original Red Ranger, he was a badass. He took the role of leadership seriously. Every other leader in the Power Rangers was kind of a goof. Jason David Frank was a badass, but he kind of goofed off. Carter Grayson from Lightspeed was sort of a goof, took it seriously, but not on the level of Austin St. John. All I'm saying is Austin St. John was the mega badass in this thing. And then got overshadowed because of Tommy, because of the little kid didn't want to eat. Because they're, oh, Mighty Green Ranger was gone. I'm not going to eat because I'm not going to watch Power Rangers anymore because the Green Ranger is gone. And Saban getting all these nasty letters from parents saying like, hey, my kid doesn't want to eat. Bring back your Green Ranger. And of course, Saban did it anyway. Brought back Tommy. I'm not saying I don't like Tommy. He's just overhyped. He's second best. Yes, second best. And Austin St. John, Jason, Red Ranger, is forever the best one of them all. Come on, guys. In Mighty Morphin, he was all serious and shit. Took the leadership role very, very seriously. Took everything to heart. Look, and like, everything to heart. Dan was gone. Came back in Zeo, became the Gold Ranger. Wasn't as serious because he wasn't in a leadership role. And actually looked like he had fun in this move, in the show. Because he actually went after a girl. 
He would never have done that when he was a leader, because leaders don't have time for that bullshit. His life was being a leader, is what I gotta say. And also, yeah, I, uh, the thing I'm not looking forward to is like whatever Hollywood director they'll get. I, if Michael Bay is put to put this thing, fuck. If Michael Bay directs Power Rangers, well, even though Power Rangers does have explosions in it a lot, he's gonna take it over to the max and like ruin our childhood and shit. And it's all about the toy, so Saban, you know he only likes the money because he doesn't care about quality, he just cares about the money. So whatever, what, whatever makes the guy money, he'll do it. So why not get Michael Bay? Because Michael Bay rigs in the dough. Look at the Transformers movie. Hell, the Turtles movie that hasn't come out yet, people are still talking about it. And we know we're all going to watch it. Oh my god. You know who I would love to see direct this shit? Christopher Nolan, because it'd be a very dark, serious Power Rangers. It'd be funny as fuck to see this, like the darker version of it. Or David Lynch just being the weirdest motherfucker ever. Or Spike Lee putting racism everywhere. Actually mentioning something like, why is the Black Ranger black? But who knows? Oh, and a CGI you know is going to be shit in a big budget movie. Because look at the first movie, the Dungeti movie. The Megazord was shit. Oh my god, was it ever shit. The TV version of the Megazords were way better. Turbo upped it up a notch because they were at cars and there was not much CGI to do it. Even though Turbo should not be mentioned as a good movie, but fuck, it's a guilty pleasure for me anyway. But yeah, I can't wait to see what they'll come up with this movie reboot. What are you guys' thoughts on this new Power Ranger movie reboot? Will it be awesome? Will it be suck? What are your opinions? Who do you think would play a ranger if, he came, if, be, if they got Hollywood actors? Anyways, that's it for now. Humanoid freak out. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Bye!